Hi hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Zelda Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is episode 5 now. We're finally getting back into it after a little break. Uh, so far we've got uh, two keys and three instruments. We have obviously the sword and shield we have a bunch of equipment bombs the rocks feather that allows you to jump we literally just in the last episode managed to find the ocarina which is really cool and we learned a song i'm not quite sure what that does yet but i'm sure it's very important to the game we have some magic powder uh, shovel and for the side quests we also have the honeycomb so at some point we're gonna have to find someone or something that wants a honeycomb i'm assuming so uh, pretty much the last goal that we got up to was trying to get enough rupees together. So, oh, accidentally pressed the ocarina. <laughs> uh, I don't think it does anything at the moment. But yeah, last time we got up to the point of needing nearly a thousand rupees so we can buy the bow and arrow from the shop. We are not quite there just yet. We have... How much do we have? I think we have something like, ah, oh, it's nearly 750 rupees, so not too far away. I think for now, though, we should just keep saving our rupees. Um, and basically, it's time to carry on with the story and head to the next dungeon. Before we do anything, I think it's best just to find out from the telephone guy where we're supposed to be heading. Uh, the phone is ringing. Bring, bring. Hi, this is Alrira. In the Yana Desert, which is located to the southeast of the island, you will find something called the Angler Key. So that's right, we are searching for the Angler Key, which is the fourth dungeon, I think, uh, in the Yana Desert. So we need to go southeast. So we need to go to the bottom corner of the island. Uh, have we got a map? Oh, wow. Look at this cool map. Yep. So we've unlocked nearly half, the, well, more than half the map now. Um, so where are we? Are uh, here in Mabe Village? We need to head south. What was it? Southeast. So somewhere down in this corner. So I'm guessing we could either head back to the castle and work our way down, or maybe head down and then across. So I guess either by the desert or through the prairie. I'm not sure which way to go. So I guess we'll go to the beach. There's no harm in heading to the beach and seeing what we find, if we can make it. It looks like the shortest trip, so I guess that's the best thing to do. Uh, these guys are okay, they're not panicking anymore since we returned their... Oh, some apples! I forget now, we can... How do we run? I can't remember. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, I keep doing that by accident. <laughs> um, let's change that to... A shovel. Just so I don't keep accidentally pressing it. So, we... How do we pick this up? Oh, we just eat them. Can we not collect them? I thought we were going to collect them and save them for something. Okay. Sorry, little squishy thing. But I'm on a mission to go to the beach. Get rid of these spiky things. Actually, we could just destroy them. I don't know why I'm doing that. We could only do that at the start of the game when we didn't have a sword. But now we have got swords, so... Oh! you got a guardian acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Uh, these are really cool, because then you can just get rid of all the enemies. Um, so, this game is already starting to feel a lot smaller. So, the map I mean. Um, when you first start, the beach seems like it's miles away. But I guess that's because you haven't got any weapons and things like that. Make sure we get the rupees that we need. Oh yes, the monkey we knocked down last time. He doesn't seem to do anything except run away. Sorry, monkey. Maybe we'll bump into each other in the future. So we got this chest last time, so nothing really to collect here. But I do remember we checked out this area and we couldn't get any further. So I'm, now we have extra equipment. I'm hoping we can run across here using our Pegasus boots. So here goes nothing. Woohoo! We made it! <laughs> oh, oh, scary whirlpool. That is isn't a mean looking sea creature. What's this? Oh, there's a strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. Is it a warp thing? What does it do? Oh, oh yes, of course. We did find a warp tunnel in the prairie. So now 
I, we couldn't do anything before, but this is the second one we found. So now we can walk between the two. That's really awesome. So if we do make a mistake and we can't get to where we need to go this way, we can hopefully walk back, uh, warp back to the prairie and then go across to the castle and down that way. But I've got a good feeling about this. Um, as long as we stay away from those electric things. They don't look too friendly. Um, that's a suspicious looking bush. Let's get to the bush if we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh no, we can't swim. Of course not. What was I thinking? Okay, we're going to avoid the... I'm guessing we can't go in there then. Oh, look. A lovely little mermaid. Oh, yes. A secret seashell. Uh, you found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, you, uh, there could be something in it for you. So we now know since we found the secret seashell building or the mansion, I think it's called. Oh, it looks like we're at a dead end. Anyway, we can unlock the master sword, I believe. Uh, if we get all these secret seashells. Uh, surely this isn't the as far as we come. Can we do like a running jump swipe, maybe? No! <laughs> uh, I don't think I can get there to hit them. Try again. One more try. Oh, what? Okay, one, one more, one more try. I don't give up. Oops. Oh, I think we did it. So now we should be able to jump. Uh, jump! Yay! I wasn't sure that was going to work. Okay, so we're, so far so good. The last dungeon was a real challenge, so they're just getting harder from this point onwards. Oh, we can't do, we can't swim. And there's some evil looking shark things. Okay, well we can't go this way, because we can't swim, so... I'm guessing we should head... I think we can head north from here. Let's see. Woo! Yeah, so if we... I'm oh, sorry, I have a habit of trying to clear everything, trying to find secrets. Uh, and this game just encourages that with the secret seashell, so... Uh, let's see, if we can head up here. More water, which we can't get to. Or can't get through, so it looks quite deep as well. So I'm, I'm guessing at some point we can like, swim or, or dive. Um, can't really remember. I have played the original, but it was a long time ago. Get rid of these guys. There we go. Uh, these, I don't think we can lift those. No, can't lift those. Okay, so we can head through the door. It looks like we should be able to head north to the castle, so we might not have to warp there. Um. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't sure that was going to work. I oh, no. You can only pick it up when... Nah! Okay, we'll leave you behind. <laughs> we'll try and escape. Uh, get out the door. Okay, we got out the door. Just in time. Okay, so. Looks like we've got a bit of a maze here. But I think we are in the prairie now, actually. So again, with what I was saying, it, the map is feeling quite small now. We've, we've explored the... Ow! Ow! Quite a lot of place. Oh, there's an owl up there. Have we spoken to that one? I don't believe we have. Uh, let's get rid of these. En Woo! Get rid of these enemies. Oh, how do you get I might have to jump and get this guy. Wow. I am not very good at... Leave me alone. That bomb one is... Uh... He is nasty. We might have to just leave him. I, I don't know how to beat him. Oh, what's this? Uh, check. Oh, Animal Village and Martha's Bay. The the guy we spoke to who we did at the side quest trade last episode, I'm pretty sure he said something about heading to Animal Village. Um, so I'm guessing that's where we need to go. Lots of bad guys around here. Maybe eat, eat some apples. Uh, give us some health. Oh, I thought it would give us some hearts, but I guess not. <laughs> Um, okay, let's stop getting distracted and head to this direction. Oh, there's a stump. What does the stump do? Quickly get rid of this. They throw those spears so quickly. Oh, we can't do anything here without being able to go into the water. So we must get some, like, diving equipment or some flippers or snorkel at some point. Ooh, a secret stairs. More water. I don't think we can go in here, can we? Or maybe we can go in the shallow bit. Should we try? 
Okay. Oh, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, try. Oh, I did it. But I accidentally. I saw the little piece of power and I ran for it, totally forgetting whether or not we were trying to test the water. So that's pretty good. Uh, so we can go in shallow water. Oh, there's a heart piece down there. The heart piece under the deep water. Just want to get this fish. There we go. So at some point, we definitely have to be able to dive, I guess. Hey, we made it through. What's up here? Oh, I forgot. Not the electric ones. Get away, get away. Okay, are we in Animal Village? I don't know. Uh, what are these stumps? Oh, can we, we must be able to build a bridge at some point. I need some love hearts, please. And rupees. I will always take a rupee. Oh, another piece of heart. Give me, give me, give me. Can't get to it. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see. Oh, another thing I forgot is you can always dig as well. Uh, sometimes you can find. Ow! Oh, that was close. We got some hearts just in time. Uh, oh, another owl. Matt, we're going to have to get some diving equipment very soon because there's a lot of water around here that we can't really. Get to certain parts without crossing water, so let's see if we can just get some hearts. And we should probably check with the what a rock that moves as if they're not scary enough. Okay, let's have a look at the telephone, see if we're any closer. Bring, bring, this is Alrira in the Yana Desert, which is located. Okay, we've already so we still need to head to the desert basically. So, how much more obvious can I be? <laughs> Maybe a little more obvious, I don't know. Okay, so we're in Martha's Bay at the moment. We still need to cross somehow. What's this? Okay, let's see if we can speak to the owl. Give us some wisdom. Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. Oh. Yes, give me some love hearts. Two more. Oh, we can't dig the plants. Whoa! Fireball things. Okay, we'll leave you guys. Um, can we do something with this then? Is it like... No, I thought maybe that would... Whoa! Aggressive. <laughs> okay, so we, we are... I feel like we are way off where we need to be. Oh, no, maybe not. Here's a sign. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Animal Village. We made it. How did I miss the houses on the way past? Okay, we should be safe in here, hopefully. Uh, let's just cut some grass, get some love hearts. Make sure our health is topped up because I get the feeling at any moment we are going to have to battle some bad guys. Let's see. Lots of rupees, which is good as well. Um, lots of cute little bunnies. Do you talk? Oh. Hi, did you know that Animal Village and Mabe Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. <laughs> anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a dream shrine in Mabe uh, and that it has something good inside. Well, actually, last time we did get the ocarina from the dream suite. So is that true? Yes, it's very true. I don't think we need to go back there, though. Um, seems a bit strange if we do need to go back there. I guess just check the house one by one. Someone in this village is going to tell us how to get to the desert, I reckon. Uh, oh, another cute bunny. That aren't bunnies because apparently they're talking. <laughs> Yana Desert. There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. Oh. Okay, so I was right. We need to head to the south, but apparently we won't be able to get through, so... Very strange. Is this a shop or something? This is what I love about this game. There's just so much to explore. Um, an artist. Woo! I am Shuli Donvich. Donavich. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. <laughs> to tell you the truth, the work is not complete. The art is diff <laughs> difficult for you to grasp, is it not? Oh. Go away. Oh, charming. Okay, so there's a mermaid. Oh, we saw the mermaid. Must remember, everything we see is key in this game. We already saw the mermaid. I think we did anyway. Hello. 
Uh, you don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. Okay, so where do we get the hibiscus from? Can't go in a house without breaking some pots. <laughs> hmm, hibiscus. Haven't seen any flowers like that that we can trade. Yet. <laughs> Hello. Are you a talking chicken duck thing? No one in there. Um, how many houses are here? Is this the last house? Is this a well? The music's so cool in Animal Village. Oh, hello. Big bear. <laughs> Chef bear. Hi, hi. Oh, hey you. Is it possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? Uh, yeah. You exchanged the honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not as sweet, but it's delicious. It's so cool how all these side quests just kind of, even though you're doing it at any random time you feel like, it all kind of lines up so clever. Uh, hi ho, yes I know, that tub of goo is asleep right in the way of Yana Desert. Once he's asleep he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her singing. Oh, so we need to, well do we need Mar Marin because we did learn her song didn't we? So maybe we can just play the song. Uh, we should probably equip it. There we go. This game is way more adorable than I thought it was going to be as well. I'm a huge, huge fan of the original. Um, and I was really dubious to play this because the graphics are quite a, a new kind of type. Oops, I keep doing that. <laughs> I tried to pick up the apples and end up pressing uh, to play. So let's have a read of what this says. Oh, there's the walrus entrance to Yana Desert. Wow, that is a big walrus. Snooze, snooze, snooze. Marin, Marin. Okay, can we play the song? I thought that was going to work! Maybe we can jump on it? Or do we have to wake it up? Uh, oh, what's that? Let's see if we can run around. It's like another... Like a warp thing, I can see. Wee! Uh, is this a warped portal? Yeah, another one! We are soon going to be warping around this map. So we've got three kind of warp stations now. We've got uh, Yukuku Prairie, Martha's Bay, and Animal Village. So we can easily get back to all of these now if we need to. As long as we find another warp station. So I guess... Oh, maybe we should use one because I think we need to go and get Marin. So I guess we should go to the village if we can. Uh, with the closest one to the Marbe village is the prairie. Oh, this is so handy. I mean, I love walking around and exploring, but he does walk a little slow. Uh, let's see. Did we make it back? Are we here? We are here! Oh no! Where is she? Marin, you were supposed to help. Okay, um, here sleeps the flying rooster. Oh, oh no, what do we do? Where would she be? Uh, okay, let's not get sidetracked. Where else have we seen her? At the beach? Uh, head back to the beach quickly. Get out of my way. Don't want to run you over with my sword. Whoa. Okay, so if she's not here, I have no idea where she could be. This is where... I'm sure we've spoke to her on the beach before. Yay! What a guess! Uh, oh, Mori, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Uh, sure. 
Oh yes, this is the classic scene. This is the kind of peop thing people are going for with New Horizons on the secret beach. Two palm trees and a log bench. So cool. And we're just watching some seagulls. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Taryn says there is nothing beyond the sea. Well, I came from beyond the sea. Uh, but I believe there must be something over there. This is such a sweet game. Uh, so adorable. Uh, when I discovered you, Maury, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Uh, if I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. It might. Hey, are you listening, Maury? Are you listening to me? Yeah, I am 100% listening. But I'm also taking in the view because this is such a great scene. Um, I want to know everything about you. <laughs> what? Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him. Well, all right, let's go. Oh, she's going to come with us then. She didn't say she didn't really want to know anything about me. Oh no, I'm picking her up. What? You got Marin. Is this your big chance? Okay, so what's the quickest way back? Um check the map so uh where are the warp places so we're pretty close actually so if we could get to this warp station there's one here somewhere oh i think it's here then maybe she'll warp with us and we can go and wake up that darn walrus <laughs> okay hopefully she'll be able to jump as well Oh, wow. She doesn't even need a run up. Okay, come with me. And we'll, as we warp to Animal Village. Yay. It would be so bad if we left her there. Okay, that was easy. Um, so now we need to head back to the walrus. Let's see what this bunny has to say. Is this the same bunny? Ah, it's her, little Marin. Oh, the Animal Village music is so adorable. It's beyond adorable. Oh, green apples. Uh, you picked up a green apple. These are the best kind for recovering hearts. Oh, excellent. We have to remember that. I can't remember what the red ones do. Okay, Marin. Do your magic. Yes, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Yes. Ah, oh, he loves her song. Whoa, calm down. Okay, well, he's officially out of our way. I hope he liked it. Ha <laughs> ha, wow, he certainly woke up with a start. Oh, here comes the bunnies. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Maury, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Uh, okay. Do we drop by straight away or should we head into... Is this the desert? Yep, Yana Desert. So let's quickly see what Marin has to say. Hopefully she's in the middle. Oh, here she is. Giving a performance. The star she wants to be. Uh, please don't ever forget this song or me. Pretty sure I can remember that. Awesome. Okay, so... Well, we we uh, brought Marin back to the village. Made sure we'd know her song for future. And we made it to Yana Desert. So, these scary looking skulls. I don't think we can pick them up. I'm guessing this is where we find the next key. Or maybe the dungeon entrance. I, I think there's... Oh, I think there's only a key here. These scary things remind me of Mario. 
Pretty sure they're the same as the ones off Mario Kart. Okay, some really cool looking tall trees. Lots of ro whoa, rocks. Owie. Oh, what's that? A big sand pit. Sinking sand. Maybe we should avoid that. Uh, let's see. Is that a heart? What's this? Can we pick it up? Uh, nope. Okay, so I think we need to equip my shovel just because I keep pressing the ocarina if not. Um, so I guess we, oh, we can go this way actually. What an owl. Let's see what the owl has to say. Wow, oh, there's lots of these enemies. You're taking me by surprise. Okay, see bears foam, sleep bears dreams, both end in the same way. Crash. Oh. Uh, I guess we go see down the stairs. <laughs> uh, any secret holes or doorways? I don't think so. Oh, a love hut. Oh, there's definitely a secret door there. Uh, we need to equip our bombs. Run! Oh, piece of heart! How many have we got now? I can't remember. You got a piece of heart. Press the plus to open the subscreen and see. Oh, we've got three. Um, so we just need one more to get another heart container. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots around this desert. Or maybe as we enter the new dungeon. But first we must find the key. So obviously there's nothing down here really. Um... Oh, these things are lethal! These look very suspicious. Oh! Our second secret seashell of the day! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. I wonder how many you have to collect. Does it tell us how many we've got so far? Oh, we've got six! How many is there? I think there might be like 50 or more. Um, oh, ow! The cactus is hurt. Avoid the cactuses. I'm... It's looking... Why do we have to go in there? There's nothing in there. Um, oh, that... Maybe we have to fall down it to unlock a secret? Okay, there's only one way to find out. Uh-oh. Annoyance! You are only getting in the way! In the way of what? Um... Oh my word. How on earth do we defeat this? Okay. Oh! Okay, we can avoid the sinking sand by... Jumping, at least. Maybe if we throw some bombs. Oh no! Uh, There's a bit of a glitch there, it wouldn't let me get back into the sand. Okay, I think I'm just wasting bombs at this point. Um, let's see, how do we defeat this? Where's he going to come up next? Oh, we have to get his head. No, I finally fell in. I thought I was avoiding it so well. Oh, we are saved. Is there any love hearts? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so bombs aren't the trick here. We just have to get its head before it dives back into the sand. Which, trust me, is easier said than done. Okay, here goes. Oh, not again! I wonder if it starts again each time, or I have to... Okay, here goes. 
So as soon as I get close to the middle, I have to jump away. This guy is take. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. Okay, so when it comes across, there we go. This is very tricky. I feel like we're not actually doing anything. Yay, we did it. Oh no, we're gonna fall down. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, the key. The key. Jump. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, the key fell down as well. Hopefully it lands. Please don't. Hey, I thought we were gonna have to do that again. You got the angler key. Finally. Ow. That was way more stressful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, lift and there we go. Definitely good job these give some hearts. No other secrets down here, I don't think. There we go. So full health, angler key. I guess that's all we have to do here. Oh, apart from avoid these spiky things. I'm not very good at avoiding these. Um, so, is that all we need to do? The Yana Desert is a dangerous place for sure. Hoot hoot. Here comes our hoot hoot. hoot. The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Now go to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Okay, so we need to head to a waterfall. Um, everyone's so helpful around here. But where is a waterfall? So there's some waterfalls up here. Tal Tal Heights. Um, I think we did build a bridge across here. The monkeys helped us with the bridge. So if we head back to... Towards the castle... And maybe we can climb up here? I guess? Who knows? <laughs> oh yeah, we need to remember- Oh yes, a piece of heart! Oh, that it's gonna give us a heart container! You got four pieces of hearts, your maximum number of hearts increased, and your health bar has filled too! Awesome! We need as many hearts as we can get, honestly. Um, so... Oh, look! A door! I literally just spotted it. Almost missed it. It's gonna be another secret! What's in here? Maybe a chest. Oh. Uh... Sorry, little fella. More bombs. We're gonna run out of bombs soon, no. Okay, get out of the blast. Get rid of these pesky bats. And another piece of heart. But we can't reach it! Oh. I love the secrets, but sometimes they're a little annoying. Oh no! Can't do diagonal jumps, have to do two jumps, so... Yep, so somehow we have to be able to blast a rock that's miles away. And then do a, a massive running jump. Which there's not enough room to do here. So, I guess we just have to leave, leave this secret for now. You live this time. <laughs> so, we need to head to the castle. We can't warp there, I don't think. Or oh, we could warp there. Oh, Marin's still singing away. It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. What is this well, then? Can we do anything? No. 
Okay, let's warp as close to the castle as we can get. And see if we can make our way to Tao Tao Heights. Oh, it's not actually that far away. But I think it probably would be quicker to warp to the prairie and then kind of walk our way over. Yeah, let's try that because we haven't visited the prairie yet, like, explored it much. Here we are. So, the good old days of the prairie. When we were searching for the castle. Gonna avoid all these monsters. Okay. We blew up this. Um, there was a massive skull here that we blew up. So we have been here before. We just need to avoid all these bad guys and head to the castle. Ah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can't jump five, apparently. Oh, we can just do four, but five, not quite enough. Okay, so. Now I know that we can go in the water at some point in the game. I keep looking in all the water around because there's going to be so many secrets. Wow, what is that? Look at all them love hearts and arrows. Except we haven't got a bow and arrow yet. We are still a hundred... 200 rupees off Be able to buy a bow and arrow which we will definitely get after this dungeon hopefully Oh, yes those scary night guys in the in the castle. Oh, we can't go north Oh, we can't I was hoping we we're gonna be able to jump over to the to there Let's see if the telephone guy can help us. Please give us some useful information. So Bring, bring, this is Alrira. Oh, I heard from Grandma that there is something hidden behind the falls in Tal Tal Mountains. Does that help? Bye. It does help, but how do we get there? Okay, so we definitely need to get to Tal Tal Heights somehow. And looking at the map, it's not going to be this way. So the only other way we can is by these ladders up here, maybe? Although we haven't explored this area, so maybe we can just come across here and then down. But to do that, we need to head to the Guponga Swamp, which is level 2. The second dungeon, so we need to head all the way back to the Marbe Village. Through the mysterious forest, I guess. Across the swamp. Oh, maybe, unless we can climb up here. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can climb up there. So, we're going to have to head back to the village. I can't believe we came all this way. For no reason but at least it gives us time to explore we should be able to get that back there pretty quickly though especially by running most people move out of our way with the oh no with the when we've got the pegasus boots on owie oh oh yes the strange bush that almost certainly is a secret but how do we get across there? Because we've got our Pegasus boots now. Oh, I'm, I suppose we still can't make it. Unless we've got some a way to dive. That's a shame. Okay, let's head back this way. I wish we could run diagonally. These controls are quite strange. Um, leave me alone. I'm just trying to get to the Tal Tal Heights. Silly snake things. Okay, so this we might not ha we might be able to avoid this swamp altogether. Instead of going all the way around this map up to here, we should be able to climb up here, which we couldn't do before because we didn't have the bracelet that lets us lift heavy things. So hopefully we can make our way through here. And visit Tal Tal Heights that way. Any secrets? I love heart. <laughs> we'll take it. Whoa, what is that? Looks like a clown dog mole thing. Oh, I guess they just keep coming. We should probably leave this. 
Okay, let's have a look. Um, check. S uh, cemetery and Yukuku Prairie. So we've been to the cemetery, but I don't think there was anything there for us. Uh, not yet, anyway. So, oh, what's this? Is this another warp? Please be another warp. Uh, no, no warp. Oh, hello. Tracy, hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Oh, oh 28 rupees. That's not so bad. I thought she was going to take all of our money that we're saving for a bow and arrow. Uh, but 28 rupees we could probably spare. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied loads of my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose a heart. Drop by again, big guy. Uh, here's the bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Thank you. Have a broken pot. <laughs> it's almost like a ritual at this point to break pots inside of people's houses. Um, so, always looking for secrets. Can't help myself. Let's see. Oh, Tabal Wasteland. Wow, the color's very bizarre. It's gotten kind of dark all of a sudden. Leave me alone, crows. Naughty crows. Pesky crows. Bothering me. I'm just trying to explore. Oh, my, did you see the piece of power fell down the hole? Oh, a piece of heart. No wonder the crows are trying to defend their territory. You got a piece of heart. Uh, press plus to open the subscreen and see. So we've only got one now, I believe. Do we get one? Yeah, only one. Because we filled up a container a minute ago, so it's going to be a while before we get a new container. Uh, oh, this takes us back to the cemetery. Leave the cemetery. Run. Run for your lives. Okay, so we know this place. Tal Tal Heights. This is where we had to come to rescue Bow Wow. <laughs> Are you a bad guy? Damper. Uh, hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out uh, with a little job. I'm Damper, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some spare time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. Oh. Okay. I suppose, obviously, he's not going to be in there, but let's investigate. Oh, he's following us in. Creepy. Uh. Hey there. <laughs> you are, I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there and it turns into a real dungeon? What? How does that work, you ask? Who knows? <laughs> well, he, he doesn't even know. But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you've got to adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it, impress me, and there's treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot. <laughs> Sit down and tell me about it. Oh. So, we get to make dungeons. This is new. This is... I don't remember this. Uh, you got some chambers. This definitely wasn't in the Game Boy version. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. What are you here for? Oh, arrange amiibo quit. Amiibo? Oh, wow. I'm guessing you can make dungeons and save them to amiibo? Maybe I should see if anyone's got some pre-made dungeons. I think we'll leave it for now because that sounds like it could be really interesting to do like explore that as, as a whole video and go through loads of people's dungeons or something. Um, if that is what you can do. Or we, maybe we can spend some time making our own dungeon. Uh, obviously, that might take a while, so just be sure to leave it in any 
thoughts you have in the comments on that? Would you like to see something like that? Or should we just continue with the story? For now, I think we should just continue. We know where this monster guy lives. So we can always come back here to his little shack in Taltar Heights. Oh, this is glowing. Hey, another warp station. So this is getting really cool. What do we do with this stone? Can we put it over here? Where was the other one we saw? Oh, I can't get through it though. I thought we could put it in the water where the other, it looked like there was another warp place, but. Um, so hopefully we can get up these ladders. So yeah, if anyone's played this before and, ha and knows more about this dungeon uh, making thing, let me know if you've made any dungeons. Um, and if we can share them somehow, it might be a really cool thing to explore and play together. I think that'd be really cool. I'm sure there's lots of awesome dungeon designers out there as well. Um, so there, there's the second dungeon that we went through. And hopefully we're now on a... Oh, a secret seashell! I love finding them! You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. Like a master sword. But we have no idea how many shells we have to collect. Uh, Mount... Tamara Ranch and Gumpa, Gumponga Swamp. So, oh, there's a door. How do we get to the door? Okay, so, better just read this sign. <laughs> uh, okay, we don't need to go that way. Uh, always good for a heart. Get rid of that guy. Before we climb up Tower Heights, we'll just do some exploring around here to make sure we're not missing anything. Because um, this looks like is where we need to be. Except they did say to jump in from the top, I'm sure. But I just want to make sure there's no nothing missing on this land. Bye bye, piggies. Oh. Whoa! Lots of rupees that I can't reach. Oh, I can reach. Jump, jump, jump. We might not be able to do anything here. Stop it, naughty piggy. We might not be able to do anything here because it looks like we might have to swim. And obviously we can't swim yet. I'm pretty sure we can swim at some point, but... Oh, there's a keyhole! That is... That has got to be... Oh, another warp station. Wow. There's lots here. Uh... Oh, those things eat you and eat your shield. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yay, another one! It feels like we have only just traveled like two minutes from that one, but it's really good to open up as many warp holes as possible. Um, so, oh, I can't, I don't know how to defeat those. Let's just see if we can get to the keyhole. Oh, there's a door. We have definitely, this has got to be the level where we get some sort of equipment so we can swim. Um, oh, is this, this got to be the dungeon, right? Oh, it's stopping the waterfall maybe. Whoa, it is revealing the dungeon. That is so cool. And a scary looking fish mouth thing. So that's the angler dungeon, I guess. Can we do anything else? Okay, how do we get there? I want to... No, leave me alone. I want to explore this dungeon. Okay, I guess we go down the stairs. Oh, there's more of these things. We've got to be able to build bridges at some point surely let's have a look down the stairs and then if there's nothing down here we can explore up oh we definitely can't do anything here can we no maybe we drop in there some at some point like we did in the yana desert and we have to come out and here or something i don't know run little maury run There we go. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. Okay, so we managed to find the entrance, I'm guessing, to dungeon five. Is it five or four? I can't remember. Uh, 
Um, and now we are going to uncharted territory. Tao Tao Mountain Range. More strange dungeons. Is there going to be a puzzle in here? I think there could be. Of course there is a puzzle in here. Wouldn't be much of a secret underground passage without a uh, dungeon. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do anything because... Oh, I can't. We can't get anywhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, safe. That was lucky. Oh, how do we get the piece of heart? I can't sword an enemy, but he can spit fire through walls. Okay, we'll have to forget that piece of heart for now. Um, I wonder how many hearts you can actually get. We might have to spend some time later on in the game just searching for all the hearts. Look, there's another one! A chest. Whoa! Oh, sorry little blobby thing. Okay, so how do we, how on earth do we get over there? Can we jump it, mate? Oh, I accidentally went out the door. <laughs> oh. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, rupees, 50 rupees, very nice. So we are up to nearly 850. So we are not far away from the threshold of, uh, was it 980 rupees we need? Something like that. Uh, so I don't know if we can jump this far. No. We'll give one more try since we've got a few hearts to spare. Oh, so close. One more go. Because I don't like giving up. Ready? Last minute. Oh, that is so close. I don't think it's meant to be. We must have to come back here. Maybe, is there like another version of the rock's feather or something that allows us to jump even further? Oh, hi. Hello. Are you in trouble? How do we get to you? I'm sorry, my dude. We're going to try and get to you, hopefully. Is this going to take us up to that guy? He clearly looks in danger. Either that was just a very happy guy greeting everyone that passes by. Um, this has got to take us to him, surely. The blobbies always give you a piece of power when you don't need it. Okay, let's head up the stairs. I get the feeling we're near... Like, with... Oh! A faulty one! <laughs> we're so close to the dungeon. I can feel it. Why are you running away? Bats normally attack you. No secrets. Strange. A decoy chest. <laughs> We made it! Ah. Yep, uh, Papa got lost just like he said. Uh, oh, oh, have we met this guy? I can't remember. Now I am famished. I can't move. Uh, can you give me... Yeah. Is he going to have our pineapple? Of course! The pineapple is so delicious. I'm going to eat it right now. Bon appetit. Oh, so he's not... Is he just lost then? <laughs> ah, that wasn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this. Hibiscus. Now we have to go all the way back to the animal village. Awesome. So what's that going to do? We're going to have to trade that for something else. Especially now we have the proper etiquette. <laughs> Delicious. Yum. I'm filled with energy now. Good man. Well done. I'm glad I could help. Any more? Thanks for the grub, Maury. You're a lifesaver. Okay, I'll leave you chilling up here, I guess. Um, ooh, scary bridge. See, if I was developing this game, I would have put a secret seashell here. Because otherwise, why else would you come across here? It almost seems like a no-brainer. Okay, so heading back to the waterfalls, I guess. That's the door we just went through to save that guy. Give him some... Um, some pineapple. Can we go through? Anything to do with this waterfall? No. Oh, the entrance! 
That's the entrance. Do we drop down? But we can also climb up here. Oh no! It's too deep. We can't go any further. Can we go? In? We can go in this bit though. Nothing really in here. I guess we just drop down. Whee! Tal Tal Heights. We made it. So these stairs must go to the underground passage we saw just over here. So I'm guessing we should probably check it out. We'll check it out. We shouldn't leave anything unturned. No stone unturned. Um, oh, can we lift this up? Oh, so that's how we can get out if we need to. But we won't because I'm sure when we leave the stairs and come back, the, bot, uh, the rock will respawn and we'll have to go all the way around again. So we should probably head to the dungeon. And almost certainly safe so uh oh, can we go down here no <laughs> so we, we have no choice but to go into the dungeon ah level four angler's tunnel cool so we made it we found the angler's key we did a bunch of trading for the pineapple um or the honeycomb to the pineapple and then finally we have a biscuit Hibiscus, sorry. Um, and we also have some secret medicine from Crazy Tracy. Um, what else have we done? But found a bunch of secret seashells and we have explored. Oh, we can't see the uh, the outside map, but we have explored a bunch of Koholin Island, which is really cool. Um, there's still a lot to explore. Of course, I think with us reaching the hour mark now, we should probably call it a day for now. So in the next episode, we'll almost certainly go straight into Angler's Tunnel and see if we can get through the dungeon and see what lies in store for us. Um, it's really exciting. I think there's still a bunch of side quests to do um, back in Marbay Village um, with Marion and learn more songs, find more teleport locations and warp stations, more secret seashells and things like that. So yeah, there's still quite a lot to do. So. But for now, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying this video, if there are any other games you'd like to see me play. I have pre-ordered Pokemon Snap, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of play that. Maybe not a full series, but a few episodes of that, just to see if we like it. We will definitely continue with Zelda and Let's Go Pikachu. Um, but for now, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and hit the notification bell for more videos and of course as always let me know any feedback you have about my videos i'm not very confident with live streams or like kind of unscripted let's plays like this so it would be super cool if you could let me know how i'm doing any feedback good or bad just for future videos um yep thanks for watching and yeah i'll see you next time bye